I've lost 180 pounds with a combination of carnivore, keto, and counting calories. I reached my goal in November of 2022, and over the past year and a half, I've noticed the scale went up about 8 pounds. Let's experiment with carnivore and counting calories and see what improvements I can make. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Y'all, there's my lunch. I forgot to show you. It's just two burgers, my carny cakes, and a drink. I am not taking any ketchup tomorrow. Man, my knees are hurting. I've been feeling I've been feeling achy and painy, like in my shoulders and upper body. Oh, it ain't a heart something. But anyway, I've just been feeling kind of rough. So um, yeah, I know I look rough too, don't I? Look like the wreck of the hispris, as the old ladies say. Anyway, we're staying in front of my refrigerator, door wide open. But anyway, so I'm going to bed. It's it's only 6:40, but I am so I couldn't sleep last night for nothing. So I'm going to go to bed. Like I said, my body aches. I think it's still from the Polish sausage, but I could be lying. It could just be me. Maybe I got maybe I got something. Anyway, all right, bye. As we're walking to the bedroom, um <clears throat> so Tuesday, mom's going to drive me to St. Louis. I have to see an eye doctor up there cuz the eye doctor down here thinks my little thing has grown back on my eye. Well, maybe it has, but he didn't see it beforehand, so maybe it hasn't. And maybe that's just what he thinks that it should look like. So, I don't know. Anyway, he may not be familiar with them growing back. Like, my sisters grew back. So, anyway, so I'm going to go back to see the guy, the guy who did my eye surgery last fall. Um, so, Mom and I are going to go Tuesday. So, we're going to see. Look at this. Look at this boy. So we're going to go see him Tuesday because he um, because he will know if it's growing back. If it's growing back, then um, then I'll probably have the doctor down in town do it. Because our doctor didn't cover him, the, him on the insurance last time. So that's why I had to go to the one in St. Louis. Look at this. Look at this. He's upside down seal. He's upside down skunk. He's an upside down skunk. Look at this boy. Look at this boy. He says, I'm here for lovin's. He's such a silly boy. And then, hang on. And there's Wild Thing down there. What up, bubs? What up, bub boy? What you doing? Oh, 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 it's his belly need rub too. It's hard to reach it, mister. It's hard to reach that belly. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's a good old boy. He's a good old boy, guys. And there's little Mr. Man. Oh, that little wild pupper. Callie's outside. Not outside, outside, but she's laying where she likes to sleep. Oh, then there's this one. He's just so assumptuous. Look at this boy. Look at him teethers. Look at them tea first. They say, grr. He says, grr. I'm going to eat him. I'm going to eat him up. He says, just don't stop rubbing my tum tum. Don't stop rubbing my tum tum. All right, guys, I'm going to bed. Like I said, I'm just so seepy. I'm seepy seep. All right, bye. Lori Anderson, thank you so much for the Venmo. You don't have to do that. I really appreciate it. Lori sent us a Venmo, and she sent $30. And she says, thanks for helping us and giving us ideas to help with our journey. Thank you so much, Lori. Hopefully, Editing Terry will remember to put that up on my wall of gratitude and show you where you're at. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You don't have to do that. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Lori Anderson, there you are, right up on my wall. You're on the one, two, three, fourth door. So there you are, Lori. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it, Lori. Thank you. Hi. I just want to tell you all, I just did my first kind of interview um, about my weight loss, uh, Lola. 
Lola invited me to her tops group and I gave a little talk. Um, there was a little technical issues, but we did it kind of interview style. So um, thank you, Lola, for inviting me. That was really fun. And um, hopefully you all were able to hear everything I was saying. So that was pretty cool. I just did my first little interview about my weight loss. So, all right, I'll see you guys. I'm actually going to eat here in just a second, but I got to go to the restroom first. I'll be back. So while I'm making this, I want to talk to you. Man, yesterday, um, I went to eat with mom, and uh, we sat with one of her friends at lunch. And I tell you what, having these, um, you know, my my uh, carny cakes was so perfect at that restaurant. Um, I was able to, you know, eat. They had, um, you know, I had that um, chopped steak was so good and it was so good with these and so um I'm telling you I'm gonna try to do that again next Sunday so um but we got for lunch I've got my carny cake and if you want to see that video um you can look at y'all got I got tons of playlists so just look in my playlist for like my weekly meal preps that's where I keep these and these are the new ones where I processed it all up. It's good. I did not bring ketchup today. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to eat. I'm going to see y'all. I'll see y'all at supper time. And thanks again, Lola. For inviting me to your your tops group that really worked out well we did it as a zoom call like i said there's a little bit of tech issues but we did it it was kind of more like question and answers it was so much easier than um than like giving a speech so it worked out well so all right i'll see y'all at supper bye okay you guys <clears throat> somebody has reminded me that i haven't gone live in a long time so how about this Friday, this Saturday at 5 p.m.? Let me see what that date is. Hang on. Okay, August 3rd at 5 p.m. That's when we're going to go live. So I'll go on and get that set up. So that day, you'll just click the thing and, and we'll go live. So we'll go live this Saturday, August 3rd at 5 p.m. I got the munchies. It is 4.06 and I got the munchies. I shouldn't have the munchies. I'm like, I just need something. Just something to chew on. Like, I need a leather dog toy. <laughs> I need a leather. I need a leather dog toy or something. Just like, I've been chewing gum, but I'm tired of that flavor. <laughs> I just need. Mm, just, mm, I need something to munch on. My jaws are just like. All right, well, I'm done. Bye. I'm mad. That's what I need, something to just try it on. Okay, bye. It's a good thing I don't share an office. Somebody be walking around. <laughs> Somebody be walking around with a big old chunk out of their arm. Okay, bye. Howdy. I am home from work, and I made it. I didn't. I didn't chew anybody to death. I did eat two bites of my burger, though. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I didn't microwave it or nothing. I don't care. So... So, at Kids Church, they do like a series of something. Well, I found out that you can go online, or well, I can go online, and buy a shirt that goes along with the series they're having. So, the current one we have, it's almost any, I think we have two more weeks of it. It's called Kids Can. So, it's kids can create, kids can hear God, kids can various things. Evidently, the next one is... Come one, come all to Jesus. John 14, verse 6. So I ordered me a shirt. I ordered a large because 
It's so damn cold in there. I mean, I long, when I wear a t-shirt, I have to wear a long sleeve shirt over it. So I was all excited. I got this one, and like I said, I'll wear a long sleeve t shirt underneath it. So I already got my shirt for the next series, whatever that series is. So I'm pretty stinking excited. That's, I didn't know that was a thing until they just told us. So that's that. Since I'm on the Plavix, I bleed real easy. Well, what I have to do, instead of just a Band-Aid, I take a little piece of tissue and I put it in there kind of thick so that way I don't bleed through the Band-Aid. And then I just replace the tissue. Well, let me tell you, you know how hard it is washing your hand this way all day? All day long, I wash my hands and try to I take this finger and hook it up over the faucet so that way it stays dry. <laughs> I'm such a dork. I remember when I worked in the nursing home, they had finger condoms. And so I, I remember we'd put those on. I was telling one of the nurses today, I said, I need a finger condom. And then I was doing something. I don't remember what it was. Oh, I need to wash out my cup from coughing. And I said, I told one of my nurses, I said, dang it. I'm going to use a hand condom. She's like, it's called a glove. I said, I know. But I'm calling it a hand condom. She didn't like that. She kind of rolled her eyes. Well, she laughed, but she rolled her eyes. Well, anyway, that's my issue today. Um, my protein creamy. I'm a little disappointed it didn't mix up all the way yet very well. Um, this flavor is, oh, wait, I need my little, I need my little koozie. It's my, um. Uh, it's my creamy koozie. Hang on. Okay, so anyway, um, the flavor is fruit fruit cereal. But when I blended it up, or so I always take it, and I do one by itself, a single mix, or the full light mix. And then afterwards, I do a remix. But I, I'll, like today, I added in some of my, some of my flavor enhancers just to kind of enhance the fruity flavor because you have to add a liquid. So, uh, but it didn't get stirred in all the way down. So I got some white and some pink. But that's all right. It's still good, Maynard. It's still good. See, pink and white. <laughs> so that's going to be my supper. I don't have a lot to tell you. I'm kind of... I'm kind of talked out. It's Monday. Ain't nobody talking to him on Monday. So, plus I've still got the... So, I want to go eat my meat and my protein creamy and get on with my night. I love y'all and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Hey, Jesus loves you. And <clears throat> come one, come all to Jesus. He'll be here waiting on you when you're ready.